Hi there. Now I will do some more yogic way of making your body fit in pranayama. Because if you want to be an adventure rider, and the greatest adventure is to ride the whole life, more than 100, you need to be very fit. Your mind has to be very pure and happy state of mind. If you want to protect your body, guard your mind. Never allow any evil thought come to your mind because evil is the root of all sorrow and suffering and grief. Keep it very pure and a cheerful and happy state of mind. When mind is happy and cheerful, body will be definitely nourished by those hormones, happy hormones. So your body will be also happy. You can sleep well, you can breathe well, you can eat well. But if your mind is criminal, corrupt, greed, anger, hatred, jealousy, cynicism, being your creed, you are going to die like a dog. So be wise, be always pure. Never try to be impure because we are what we think about. All that we are arises with our thought, with our thought we make the world. So that is the meaning of life, dear friends. Any amount of exercise, any amount of yoga, any amount of breathing technique will not make you happy unless your mind is well controlled and directed. Then physically, mentally, spiritually, emotional balance will come. And that is the ultimate source of happiness. Unfortunately, the whole world is in chaos. There is greed, anger, hatred, jealousy. They want to kill each other. They are corrupt. They are evils. They are devils. War is going on the full shame on you. Yoga and pranayama is only going to be beneficial once you are dwelling in yama and niyama. Ahinsa satya astya brahmacharya. Swaksha santosa tapsa swadhyaya. English translation. Non-violent attitude. Being always truthful. Never being greedy to steal anybody's anything. Controlling your sexual energy, which is the most explosive, powerful emotion in life. And never accepting anything from anybody just for free. Because today they will give you something, tomorrow they will abuse you, they will curse you. They will tell you you are bloody receiver only, you are not a donor. Who told you bloody son of the bitch to give us anything? We will starve to death while you never beg before anyone. They are the evils and devils. Never accept anything from anyone. Better to be a beggar like God Master Hatha Buddha and beg from those only that is you yourself. Beg at your own door. Don't go to anyone. It is better to die than to be a beggar before others person. There are great people like my Gurudev Dr. G. V. Krishna Reddy. When I was starving and dying, he called me, he embraced me and told my son, I am your Gurudev. Everything of mine belongs to you. You enjoy. Today I am Prince. He has given me the bike, a sports bike, because I love it. He has given me food, shelter, clothes. He's supporting my whole family, dear friends. That kind of attitude is only very important in life. So once you are very pure and pious, that is by yama and niyama, then all these physical exercises, all these diets and solar radiations and things will be beneficial to you. Remember it. If you want to be happy in life, if you want to have very strong physical health, there is no better physician than cheerful state of mind to dissipate the ills of the body. There is no better physician than goodwill towards everyone. Find the good in all, think good of all, and be good with all. That is the real meaning of life. This is the portal of heaven, dear friends. I do that. I do that. But it needs a lot of patience, a lot of practice, and a lot of balancing state. Thank you, viewers.